A Los Angeles police union is taking legal action against the owner of an anti-police website. They want the site to be taken down for posting pictures of several officers while placing bounties on their heads. The move comes after thousands of LAPD officers had their personal information dumped online late last week. This does include the identities of undercover officers. Jamie McBride is an LAPD detective and director of the Los Angeles Police Protective League. Uh, Jamie, thank you for being with us this morning. So tell us what this lawsuit is alleging and who's filing it. Well, first of all, people need to understand that law enforcement is a very unique profession. There's individuals out there that want to hurt or kill you strictly because of your profession. And now you have a website on Twitter that is putting bounties on officers' heads because these photos were released. And I'll say this, if incompetence was a sport, police administrator Liz Rhodes would be a starting player on the varsity team. That's how reckless it was to release all these photos of officers. And one last thing here on this is, uh, you know, it's not just the undercover officers right now. Now, when somebody goes through their 20 or 30 year career, there's officers that can go in and out of undercover capacities. So just because they're not undercover right now doesn't mean they won't be in two years or 10 years from now. So this is going to just have a long lasting effect on officer safety. Right. I mean, you, you talk about the undercover officers, and, and I, I do want to get to that now since you've mentioned it. I mean, this is not only dangerous for them, but it's dangerous for their families as well, correct? Yes, I had several officers reach out to me. They're very concerned for their safety and the safety of their families. Um, I even had younger officers contact me and say they're thinking about leaving LAPD because they don't feel safe working for a department that is so reckless on releasing these photos. So this is going to have a, a big, big effect on recruitment because we're already understaffed by over a thousand officers, and it's hard for us to get anybody to take the test to come on this police department. And now with this big blunder, uh, who wants to come to this department? So again, this is a very dangerous situation, and, and it's very reckless on police administrator Liz Rhodes for doing this. Okay, so you think there was obviously negligence against the LAPD. Will there be any pushback on that? Will they be held accountable for anything? You know, we have uh, referred some of our undercover officers to some civil attorneys, and they're looking into filing a civil lawsuit against the department because, it is, again, it's put them and their family in jeopardy for having their photos out there for everybody to see. And a lot of these officers that work undercover work very sensitive investigations. They work the Mexican mafia, drug cartels, mm -hmm. and now their photos out there for everybody. And even if that one website is taken down, the photos are out there on all kinds of websites now because, as we all know, when something's on the Internet, it's never off the Internet. So the man behind the killer cop website is denying any wrongdoing, and here's how he's responding to the lawsuit against him, quote, it's malicious, it's retaliatory, it is vindictive and frivolous. Their motion is filed with lies. They are trying to silence my free speech. The truth cannot be retaliatory. It is First Amendment protected speech. Your reaction to that? Well, again, when, when you put out a website putting bounties on people's heads saying they'll give $1,000 to kill a, a male officer and $2,000 to kill a female officer, um, that's not free speech. That's reckless behavior, and that's going to incite violence because you have people out there right now that are a little off center, and they're going to look at this and say, hey, let's go kill a cop and make some money. So it's not simple as, as free speech. So I think he's wrong. This is probably an individual that lives at home in his 40s with his mom and makes, who makes cereal for him in the morning. Uh, this is somebody that's not thinking straight. You know, the Twitter handle, it was deactivated, but the website is still up. Is there any way that can be brought down until at least this lawsuit is, is handled, or is it just up until this is over? You know what? Um, we're trying to get all the sites shut down. Again, this stuff should have never been released. Um, you know, we have a police administrator who just released all the photos, and this could have been very easily challenged in court by the police department by saying, hey, when somebody goes through their 20 or 30 year career, they can go in and out of undercover capacity, so it would be a danger to their, um, to their family and to them if their photos are released. But instead, they just released all the photos. So, again, I don't think, it's, I don't think we're going to get all the sites shut down because, again, once it's on the internet, it's out there for everybody. You know, Jamie, that brings me to another question um, when it comes to the other, the undercover officers. Will there be any changes made with them or are they just stuck doing what they're doing still and with their, their pictures up there? Yeah, you know what? This has never happened before my 32-year career, so this is this is uncharted territory for all of us. Um, you know, these officers are, are very dedicated to what they're doing in their investigations. Uh, they're just going to take precautions now and, and constantly mm. look over their back on their way home from work. Uh, when they're out with their families, if somebody, you know, yells their name, they got to realize, is this a friend or is this a foe? They don't know. 
Uh, it's just, this is something we've never seen before. And in 32 years, it's probably the most reckless thing I've seen. As if their job wasn't already difficult enough, now they have to doubly watch their back. That's horrible. Jamie McBride, thank you so much for your time this morning.